Today is Monday and things are not looking any better, as you can see. Mm, I'm pretty sure he can't see very well if he's not completely blind by now. Hello. Come here. I know, I know. You don't want me to be messing with you anymore, huh? The mold. But can you see it now? Can you see all the white in the tips? There's a very slight chance that he's gonna make it out of it alive. It's right. It's me. It's me. Look. It's me. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be scared. It's me. I got you, my love. I got you, sweetie. I got you. Honestly, I'd be surprised if he makes it through the night. That she spends most of her day in that corner looking at him. And these dogs have been laying on. <laughs> That's how they talk to each other when they're like couples. Did you see them? They are sitting on eggs. My husband doesn't even want me to check on the eggs at night. Um, because the last time we did, we did see Clara, girlfriend. I see you, Clara. She's as good of a mother as a great escape artist. But look at her coat. She lost all her winter hair. And now she has this shiny short coat. It seems like I shaved her, but I didn't. Today is Monday and things are not looking any better, as you can see. Um, I am starting a different treatment. I've started. It's a recommendation of a friend and a vet and uh, I don't, I don't think it's working very well and uh, Honestly, I'd be surprised if he makes it through the night. I left it like this to show you. And I'm gonna show you what I think caused this. And I'm gonna show you what we've been doing to try to help him. Uh, we are isolating him in a different area because not, uh, not that we thought from the beginning that this was contagious but because he really was struggling with the rest let me clean him I just can't see him like that come here love let me clean your mouth so what I've been doing is vitamin B and I'm also doing an antibiotic, which is penicillin, every six hours. I am also doing Nutri Drench. That's why it has a darker color in the mouth. And But I, what I think it is, is Listeria. And sadly, it's really, really hard to come back from it. And so I am doing everything that we're supposed to do if you take a go to the vet this is exactly the treatment that they will prescribe because you do have to give the antibiotics every so many hours mm. i'm pretty sure he can't see very well if he's not completely blind by now Let me clean your mouth. You'll feel better. I know. He is eating his pellets. It takes him a really long time. But he is eating little by little. You can see. I think he can't see very well. So I have to kind of dip his nose in the water every time I want him to drink. I, he's been drinking. I think this is the fourth one in the afternoon. And he has been nibbling on the hay. Now, 
how do you get listeria? Well, because of moldy food. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by moldy food and how it happened because you probably think, oh, how, how is it possible that you didn't notice that he is um, eating moldy hay? You got your medicine. I'll give you a little bit of this, okay? Come here, Lo. Come here. I know, I know. You don't want me to be messing with you anymore, huh? Good boy. Just swallow it. Good boy. Good boy. You're a good, good boy. Okay. Let's go in. We're gonna go in, okay, baby? Yeah. Let's go in. There you go. Good job. I'm gonna bring a tarp and I'm gonna cover him. chances of him surviving this is are very very slim but I wouldn't be myself if I didn't try every single last bit and um, now I did put a towel there so he's not sitting in the cold mud and I'm gonna bring a tarp to cover it completely I'm gonna put a towel in the front so he's in a dark place uh, that will help him rest. And I'll come several times at night to clean his mouth to make sure that he can breathe because once he starts foaming, it's, it's hard for him to breathe and to dip his nose in the water just to show him where it is. This, this behavior started this morning and this is the second dose that I'm giving him of penicillin it's intramuscular and never done that before but I learned pretty quickly that I better learn because no vet can see him in the office until Wednesday even if I was able to take him to a vet today uh, they would have told me to give him penicillin and vitamin B. That's pretty much what the vet would do. So they told me not to get my hopes up. Um, there's a very slight chance that he's gonna make it out of it alive. And that typically there's no need to make that decision for them because um, it's a pretty uh, aggressive sickness and so it really doesn't leave much room for days of suffering. But at the same time, there are chances where they get better with the treatment. So even if I was able to put him down right now, um, I would do it knowing that there's a chance that he can get better. So 
you know this is uh, these are the parts of having a farm that it's it's just heartbreaking and uh, if you've been with us from the beginning then you know that Rocky we brought him when he was eight weeks old and he is a spoiled brat one of the sweetest bucks ever and <laughs> definitely he just this is feels like it's not fair Now, Listeria happens because of moldy food. And I'm gonna show you, I left this here just with sole purpose of showing you guys how mold looks like. There you go. I don't know if you can see, but this white stuff, it's all mold. So what I think happened is in the weekend that we were away, my son was doing chores and he didn't notice by grabbing, you know, if you grab it like this, you grab like a, I don't know what I call it, a leaf, but you know, you don't see it. You don't see the, the mold, but can you see it now? Can you see all the white in the tips? This is mold. And this is moldy. And from that same trip, we got three different barrels that are perfectly fine. So if you see any kind of mold in your hay, or even if you don't see it, just inspect it. Make sure that it's safe. Make sure there's no, you know, anything that shouldn't be there. Cows can eat stuff with mold and they're fine, but goats can't. And I bet pretty much anything at this point that Rocky ate some of that hay. And that's why he has this area. So I guess I'm sharing this despite being heartbroken just with the hopes of helping somebody. Keeping in mind that there's a reason why hay needs to be dry and um, the reason why I don't buy a lot of hay and I buy little by little is so I can pay more for somebody to store it for me and that being the feed store. And, um, and then I have Miss Bad Mother over here who was sitting on one of her kids today and uh, I think in the end she's trying to reject him It's Wednesday I am cleaning his cage because this is where he's staying I think I showed you that already If you see he is pooping just a little bit because he um, is eating just a little bit. He lost a lot of weight, as you can see. He is right now kind of shaking. He just got his antibiotic. He still has one side of his face paralyzed and his, he can't really control much of his tongue. You can't see it from there. All that yellow stuff is or orange, I should say. It's a uh, vitamin B. I overfill a little bit because sometimes when I come in the middle of the night to do it, it's it's kind of hard. And sometimes I miss. He's very scared. Um, I'm pretty sure he can't see at all. His eyes are lost. But it is Wednesday, and according to the vet, if you would have made it this far, he has a chance to fight it and survive it. He's under 
pain medicine, vitamin B to keep his rumen going while he's not eating much and very strong of penicillin dose five times for his weight uh, but that's what he is supposed to be in <sighs> he really is sore here in the back because the penicillin is intramuscular but at this point I was told to give it sub Q to kind of give it a rest um, but yes a little bit better even though you probably can't even tell but he's been so bad that you know you can see the improvement or I can see the improvement so I just moved his kennel I have it close to this wood chipper so when I need to give him shots I attach that leash uh, because every day he's getting stronger or maybe he's more scared because he can't see I don't know what it is but as soon as I open that door he tries to run and so he you know and he is pretty strong I mean he's a skinny goat right now but he's still pretty strong so what I've been doing is giving him some alfalfa pellets that's what I've noticed that he likes the most to eat or nibble on uh, some clean water three times a day now I'm gonna dry this black dish because that's where I put his hay I change his hay very often because since he is drooling um, he gets it all wet and I'm sure he doesn't want to eat something that it smells like his own drool so I'm also keeping him in towels so I can see the pee and how much he's peeing instead of just letting him pee on the ground and I don't know if I show but this is a grill cover an old grill cover that I've been using to kind of keep him The thing is, we don't know if he is 100% blind right now. And if he gets better, he should go back to normal sight and everything. But, like any loud noises or anything crazy, he um, just gets super, super scared and he tries to hide. And so I am trying by covering him i am trying to keep him calm and it's been working when i feel like he is looking for the other guys the other guys are over there so when i feel like he's looking for them i'll open it like this so he can peek through this and kind of look at him have a straight view but let me tell you most of the time this is what he's doing I am very, I am so very thankful that it didn't get to the point when they're down on the floor. Um, and um, because other one you have to prop them in a way that they're not sitting on their side. If you know anything about goats being on their side, it's kind of a bad thing and you have to switch them if they are or prop them in this position so they, the Roman can continue to work. Um, one of the sweetest things I've noticed, and again, I'm kind of biased because I love Clara so much, but she is so very worried about him. So very worried that she spends most of her day in that corner looking at him. And she knows, she knows it's there and uh, I just, I just think that it's Clara is just that kind of goat, you know, she's so caring about everyone. She's nursing mocha squads, um, you know, she, she's like my super, super goat and I love her so much and just her caring so much about Rocky and keeping an eye on him all day, like she'll go and eat and then she'll come to that corner to chew the cud to keep an eye on him. 
so definitely not only the best mom in the world but the most sweet and kind and worried about her baby daddy <laughs> she won't look she's looking straight at him gonna be okay it's me baby I'm right here I'm right here you're not going anywhere okay Come here, sweetie. Yeah. I know. I know. Come here. You're okay. Come here. Come here. I know. I know. I know. Let me let me make your bed, okay? Oh, good boy. Good boy. It's me. I'm right here. It's me, it's me. Look, it's me. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be scared. It's me. I got you, my love. I got you, sweetie. I got you. Good boy. Come on. Come on. I know. It's scary. It's scary because you can't see, but I got you, okay? I got you. I got you. Let me clean your mouth, okay? So you have a clean mouth. Oh, that tongue too. Okay. We'll go in. You want water, Rocky? Come here, boy. There's paper boys. <gasps> and there's some alpha pellets. Yay! There they are. Listen. Okay, there you are. I'll be back in an hour to check on you, okay? Now, if you look at him, he's just kind of resting over the hay. I show him where the hay is and eventually he'll start nibbling on it um, I also dip his nose in the water every I would say every couple of hours he hates it but then after I dip it once or twice he'll start drinking some water which is keeping him hydrated I know it's a hard sight to look at an animal like this and I'm sure some people would be um, would be thinking that maybe putting him to sleep would be the most humane thing to do, but let me assure you that he is not in pain, and it's a neurological thing that he has, and that there there is um, a chance of getting better. So as long as he's not suffering. And as long as he is not um, out of pain medicine, as long as I see improvement in him, I just can't give up. And I totally understand that some people don't want to um, use resources on a goat that maybe it's not worth, you know, the money that you are investing in them. But when I see him try, um, he's really trying right now. But you have to understand that he's paralyzed on one side, so it takes him a really long time to eat. But he's interested in eating, and he is really fighting to stay alive. And uh, I think in the end, that's all it that matters. 
that he is fighting and I as long as he doesn't give up I'm not gonna give up on him now if things take a turn and he's not progressing or if I see that he's suffering then I'm going to put him down 